because of the high water. So people are taking it in stride uh, here in New England. Storms like this are not uncommon, although we haven't had a coastal storm this strong in uh, quite some time. That was Doug Cope up there along the coastal areas in southeast Massachusetts. Joining me now in the forecast center, Stu Ostro. And Stu, uh, what's the current situation with the storm? And as we look at this particular picture, how did uh, the Hurricane Grace kind of factor in here? Well, don't be intimidated by this monstrosity here. This is uh, what we call the water vapor loop. It shows just that, the amount of moisture in the air. When we put it into motion, we can see the evolution of weather systems. At the beginning of the uh, loop here, right there, that's Hurricane Grace. However, you then see this energy swing down around, absorb Grace into its circulation. And I think what, what Grace did was inject a little bit of uh, moisture and energy into it. Also provide sort of a target for this energy to swoop down in and capture the whole thing. And we now have a quite significant storm in its own right. So this is not a tropical system, but we're getting uh, hurricane force winds out of it. Exactly. It does have a few of the characteristics of a tropical system. Some of the uh, heavy winds and rains right around the center of it. But it does have a lot of cold air involved with it. And therefore, it's not really a completely tropical system. Can we conjecture on where it's going to move from this point on? Uh, yeah, we think it'll wobble around to the west and southwest and sit here for a couple days before it gets ejected out. Okay, thank you, Stu. Stu will be with us for the rest of this evening. We'll continue to keep you updated on this major storm system. Now back to the studio in Tom Chisholm. And Jeff, with all the problems occurring in the Northeast,